akzeptieren. Der stille Rückzug ins Private ist irgendwann noch mal mein Tod. Aggression ist mein neuer Motor, meine Ohnmacht weicht der Wut. Ich mach kaputt, was mich kaputt macht, die alte Hoffnung, Revolution.
Dude, my DNA 200's acting up. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome to Lethal's Vapor Lounge Live. Uh, we're here. We're late. We're really, really late. And we're going for a short time tonight. Uh, but we are here. I'm Chris mm -hmm. Lethal Coils. And here's my boy, Phil, Mr. Vape, VT Vape Guy. Vaping with VT, yeah. Why was I going to say vaping with VT? I have no <laughs> idea. Almost named it that. You know? Oh. Almost so how, are you, how are you doing, man? I know we tried this whole stream thing on your channel just a few minutes ago. Everything's all ironed out now. Everything's good. Knock on wood. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, my computer just wasn't up to date. And it says, you know what? You're going to update me whether you want to or not. So, hey, now everything's crisp and cool and clean. And I just mic bumped. Not cool. Not mic cool. bump. Hells, yes, dude. Happy to be. I think it's the first time I've been on your channel, so no, it's the second. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I was on once before. Yep, yeah, that's right. But it's been a while, so it has been a while. It has been a while, so still drinking. Dark, you already know. Oh, yeah, was that sponsorship thing real or is that just a that was not think so? A, that was just a you, just a wishful thinking. That was a wishful thinking. <laughs> Yeah, we got, they did. Uh, I had somebody email them and try to get them to sponsor the channel. Yeah, and they, they actually emailed me in return and was like, "Look, we appreciate you know that you want us to sponsor you, but no, we're we're all set with vaping channels." <laughs> really? Like, okay, and yeah, I actually didn't drink and start like a month after that because I was like, "Dude, fuck you guys," you know, <laughs> like <laughs> there's nothing wrong with vaping; it saves lives, right. plain and simple right you know but it's, i just love it you know i can't get enough kickstart it's That's juice. awesome it's, there's like there's minimal carbonation and minimal carbonation i can drink it all day can't beat it good energy drinks man um so yeah this is the the vapor lounge live so why don't we uh start kick it off with you uh mr phil what are you vaping on tonight Dude, I am vaping on the G Taste Aries Triple Coil on the Zenith 3. I like the RTA, but it's a wicked wet vape. It either leaks or it's wet, wet, wet. Uh, and all like, you know, spitty kind of wet, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah. So, not a fan of it. I put a bunch of builds in it. Um, it's cool to build and fun to play with. Um, but it just is too wet for me, and I like a wet vape. So, I hear you. Uh, not a fan of it. Um, I also got the Mutant by Vandy Vape and uh, Twisted 420. I've got it on the slant airflow setting, wide open. I've got it at 69 watts. I think I'm going to crank it up to, like, 80 watts, so let me get an easy dip. But the problem is the airflow it just isn't enough to handle it with the coil I've got. Yeah, any more than 80, and it gets like a dry, Real almost fast. like a dryish feeling because it's too much for the airflow, you know. It's not, not cool enough. Uh, also, I've got the Leap uh, Pod. I bought this actually at Cumberland Farms, thinking it was going to be terrible, you know, and uh, I really like it. The fucking airflow on this, I can't get enough of it. The airflow is really good for a pod. It's loose, but it's not too loose, you know, but it's not so tight that it's like. Yeah, you know, it's not a super tight mouth salon. It puts out pretty decent for a little pod, you know. That's nice. Um, man. The pod, the pods are mad expensive though. You're paying like twelve bucks for two, and if I vape it heavy, then a pod only lasts me a day. So twelve bucks in two days is, I think it's a little bit excessive. Um. And they only hold like a mil and a half or a mil and a quarter. So you're getting like two and a half mils for 12 bucks. That's, that's not, not really a great deal. No. You know, uh, I hear you. I like them. They're satisfying, but it just is expensive. The, the kit itself is cheap. The starter kit, the mod, the charger and one pod is like 28 bucks. Oh, wow. Even after the Vermont, even after the new tax. So oh, geez. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, and I think the reason the pods are so much is because of that new tax. Because they were like eight bucks before. So, 
yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, at oh, that wow. price, at that price, they're reasonable. It's still a little high, but you know, right on. Hopefully, they overturn that that new vaping tax, man. The the tax up here is is hell. I travel in New Hampshire to get juice now. It's just, it's too Do much. You. How far is New Hampshire from you? It, it's like, uh, I can get there. I can get to West Lab in like forty minutes, forty five minutes. You know, it's not too bad. Okay. So, uh, you know. And and there's two really good shops right there in West Lab, so nice. Yeah, a lot of the shops, a lot of shops here aren't really just vape shops. They're also like head shops, corn shops. You know, it's like a combo shop. So you're not really getting like a real vape shop experience when you go and they've got a very limited selection of juice. And oftentimes I've found that I've bought a lot of bad juice from from a couple of the local shops just because they, they they have it so long you know they order a couple cases of it and they have it for six months eight months a year right and it has a shelf life <laughs> it does have a shelf At least life nicotine definitely does i mean you can you can leave a zero neck out, out for quite a while and and you, you're you'll be all right but you start out nicotine into there and it gets peppery and it ain't good <laughs> No, it gets very hard no. to choke down. Yeah, and and so I, traveling to West Lab is cheaper. It's a little bit more on gas, but you get a real good vape shop experience. They've got tons of juices, walls of juices, house juices, whatever you want. So it's worth it, you know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got the uh, Rebirth. And the Zenith also, and the Profile as well, the Unity, Profile Unity. I really like it for nice. a mesh. I what's I that sitting eat. on top of? Uh, I got the Lux by iJoy. Ooh. Dual 650. Boom. Oh, wow. Yeah, these ones are the E-Fest, but it came with a set too. It came with a set of iJoys. I was going to tell you, don't, don't rip your mod apart there, bub. <laughs> Dude, I love it. This is an aftermarket thing. Actually, it was like a black thing with a shield on it. I didn't like it. But uh. this one. This one's all right. It's supposed to be dragon skin, but as you can see, it's really just like dried bronze paint. Oh, nice. I like it that. Looks cool. I, it's almost like an eggshell yeah. kind of. And I like it because gold shit looks really good on it, you know? Like, let me put a gold tank on here real quick. It just goes matchy-matchy with it really well. And, it, and it's a great mod. Some people... Okay, so 90% of the reviews of the mod at the time I bought it were terrible. Absolutely everybody hated it. And I was like, you know, I think I'm going to get it anyway because it's dual 26650. Comes with a set. It, you know, it was like 50 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that. And I, I've had it for three years almost. And it's wow. I paid 60 bucks for the mod. So That's definitely lived its life. Oh, I can't not get this atomizer off here. <laughs> so, <laughs> <I'm a pet. laughs> um, so I just want to quickly shout out to Shane Smith, Josh Rhodes. How are you guys doing? Shout outs. Hell yeah. So far that's it, but that's uh, it's really late for my viewer base. So I'm not expecting too many of my peeps to show up tonight. Hell yeah. But that is what it is. There's always the replay, right? That's that's why YouTube that's stores it. the videos. That's it. YouTube does the things. Hell so yeah, that's what man. you're vaping on? Oh. All right, here we go. Finally got it. So gold looks really good on it. Nice. Nice and matchy matchy. I like and that. And it's not like it, it you wouldn't think so cuz it's more of a yellow. Yeah, but it look it, it looks really good with gold stuff on top. Dude, and the battery dope. life, dude, the battery life's like three days. It's like a triple eighteen six fifty, but it's only two batteries. Right. Dude, that's dope. I've always felt like uh, it vapes a little high, you know. Like I've got it forty nine watts on a dual coil. Okay, fifty watts. Yeah. You see what? You see what? It, I think it's vaping more like 65, 70 watts. Right. I like the mod. I like it anyway. 
I think that that goes under one of my all-time favorites. And I really didn't, you know, it does feel cheap, it, it, you know, kind of, but it's heavy, it's bulky. But the main thing is because of the way the sleeve is. Most people hated this way the sleeve slides off and the stock sleeve is a little bit loose. This aftermarket one isn't, you know, so it okay. feels better with, uh, with the aftermarket sleeve. Nice. I just like the action of it too, you know, it pops down and kind of like the mag. Of, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> cool. So my favorite triple eighteen six fifty besides the Zenith. Council of Vapor Tempest, same thing. Ooh. Oh man. It's got a clip, it's got a clip for your batteries. That's dope. Yeah, a sixty dollar triple eighteen six fifty device, and it's lasted this long. I've almost as long almost three years That's i've had it chill. forever it's dirty dirty as hell but you know what it's lasted yeah it's i put batteries in it right now put a tank on there and it'd fire right up nice no yep. is Hold that a uh, btfc can uh little box thing that are that i see off to your left where off to your left oh yes is that the btfc yeah. did you do the review yeah. for that one yet Yes, I did, and it actually is in here, too. Mine's in my can right now. It's been waiting for me to do the review for it. I absolutely love that RDA. Dude, it is so epic. I love it. And the and the tank, the tank, RTA is great. The the RTA is awesome, too. I got them both. That's a BTFC RTA? Yes. <gasps> I didn't the, know they even had that. Dude, the deck is, like, exact RDA size, same amount of space he didn't shrink it down like he didn't cheap out he didn't change it a whole lot it's a btfc rda with a eight mil tank it's it's Dude. excellent it is excellent i need to try one of those now yeah it's on my top five list of the year for sure without question probably number two if not number one i think the rebirth has it by just a little but as far as flavor goes mm -hmm. but uh it it's got that beat in capacity and I, I just like, I just like it. You know, it's great. The BTFC is so good, man. And I like, I, I like that he didn't change the deck a bunch to make it fit the RTA. You know, he made the RTA fit the deck. Exactly. That, that was gonna make or break it. And I was talking to him about. It. I had him on my show a while ago, and uh, before it came out, before the, the RTA came out, but right as the RDA was coming out, and uh, he ended up he he was talking about it on the show and he was saying that he, he wasn't sure how he's going to do it, but he was going to try to do that. And it was really cool that he was able to do that. That's awesome. Yeah. Rarely, you know, usually it ends up shrink, shrunk down to a 25 cause they sell better or, you know, it's a yep. 27, 27 millimeter at the base and the, the tank tapers up to 30 cause it's a bubble tank. Right. But you have a straight tank too, if you don't like the bubble. Oh, they're all done making them. No, that sucks. All the more, dude. Now I gotta hold on to mine. Yeah, you do, dude. Yeah, you that do. sucks. Ah uh, man, I'm gonna have to look for one now before they like go completely extinct. Dude, that's a bummer. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Country dude. living. What's going on, man? Hey, hey. Big country. What up? So, um, yeah, I suppose I should go over what I'm vaping on then, because we're yeah, like. Yeah, you should. We're at it's nine fun. nine twenty four, and I haven't even touched on what I'm vaping on. Well, I got the uh, top side dual, with the drop nice. dead on top there. Hell yeah! Love that. We got both the, great. Was oh yeah, both are great. Uh, top side dual can't beat it. One of my favorite mods to date, um, and the drop dead. I mean, it, it's it's the drop dead. Does it? What else can I say about it? Hell oh, yeah. Mark told them to sell what they had and stop making them. Oh, that man. sucks. That right. does. Well, we also got that Vupu drag, the gold with the blue twisted messes TM24 Pro on top. Nice. Loving that as well. Hell yeah. We've also got the Luxotic NC from Wismech and the Kelpie RTA. Dude, that thing looks baller. Oh, I love it. I love the Kelpie RTA. Uh, I'm not a massive tank fan, and I'm not a massive single coil fan. 
Yeah. Uh, but this this single coil RTA is really really nice. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be if you wick it properly, you will never dry hit the thing. It'll wick faster than you can vape it. Um, nice. Or as fast as you can vape it, not faster, because then you'd get like all sorts of spittiness and everything. But you don't right. get that from from the Kelpie. It's it's on point. I don't know what Vic did, uh, what was going on in his head for the design of this that would make it work this way, but he nailed it, man. He absolutely yeah. nailed it. Um, what else do I have that I'm vaping on? Nothing except for that. Hell yeah. Forgot. I have to have at least one in my rotation. I started out pretty much only using mechanical mods. Uh, and so I always have to have at least one running. And so today I've got the truck from Purge. Yeah. And Hell that yeah. has the uh, Equitas on top there. What nice. the heck was that? I don't know. J Money, what up? Oh, J Noah Money. Rivera has subscribed. What's going on, Noah? Nice. Hell yeah. Hello, shout out hello. To Big shouts to everybody. Um, yeah, guys. Wow. Okay. So we've got those and the last one I'm on it, because you got to have a pod system, right? Yeah, oh, have yeah. at least one. Gotta have so one. right now I've got my wife's Smock Nord uh, running some 24 milligram Nick salts in there at the moment. I yeah. couldn't tell you exactly what they were. Turn up the volume a little. How's yeah. that? Is that better? Um, so, yeah. So that's what I'm vaping on, guys. What do I got for juice going? Uh, I've got some some more Yogi stuff. I've got some Yogi apple cinnamon granola bar. Nice. Come on, you stupid camera. Stupid camera. How Anyways, is that apple cinnamon? It's is good. It all right? It's good. It's It's kind of like if you could imagine what an apple cinnamon jelly donut would taste like it's a lot like that nice it's kind of a lot like that nice they can go either way i've had good ones i've had really really bad ones <laughs> all right he said that's better cool nice awesome also i've got some uh two more from yogi that i'm on with at the moment We've got strawberry and blueberry granola bar. And those are really nice as well. And then finally, the last one I'm on with, and this is zero milligram because I, I chain vape like a fiend, so I need something to offset yeah. the nicotine a bit. So I, I'm using some zero milligram nick. Uh, Promised Land, which is a cinnamon sugar pretzel. No, sh no kidding. Yeah. No, you're free to say shit. <laughs> you, you can feel free to you say never that. Know. You never know. Dude, the, the Yogi line is dope, J Money. Dope. Um, I also have from Yogi, I don't know if anybody else knows about this, uh, Yogi that does the granola bar line also does their fresh farm fruit line. Yeah. So uh, I actually have not tried them yet, but I have the the box of samples upstairs that I have to try out as well. So that's going to be something. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. So I, I got to try those ones too. But so far, everything from Yogi has been on point. It has absolutely been a dream to vape on them. Um, the There's only two, I think, that I can say I don't really care for in terms of like all day vaping and one of them is their peanut butter banana yeah and the other one is their original granola bar it's good but i like the others better yeah you know what i mean like yeah, if gran i granola is a little bland you know well it's a yeah. honey granola this one's like a honey granola so it's got yeah. that real good sweetness to it that honey sweetness but um but it's if I had nothing else but that juice to vape, I would be perfectly happy. But if I had other stuff that I liked more, it would sit on the shelf. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
defo uh, J money I will definitely let you know about those uh, farm fresh ones um, so I know we were talking a little bit about it before uh, has anybody in chat seen the new press release from here in the United States uh, like I said you and I were talking about this a little while ago Phil uh, the BTA the vapor technology Association uh, here in the United States has actually filed lawsuit against the FDA um, they want they're filing because of its uh, the FDA's unreasonable and arbitrary pre-market tobacco application process and yeah. because of um, the the recent grossly accelerated PMTA filing deadline of May 2020 um, <clears throat> the, the I guess they're taking action to require FDA to publish and complete long promised foundational rules describing the specific requirements for the PMTAs and in addition they're asking to the court to enjoin the FDA from enforcing the May 2020 PMTA deadline or taking enforcement action against companies that do not have a PMTA on file until a reasonable period of time after the actual foundational rules are finalized. Which are, the foundational rules, what they mean is that nobody knows exactly what's required of them. They yep. know that you need to show documentation that you've been selling product since after 2016, all right? and that you've actually been doing that that's yeah. what that's all that we know right now you need to file this paper and you need to show us that you've been selling a product after 2016 that was made after 2016. Yeah. Um, aside from that there are no clear-cut rules uh, they don't tell you what the requirements are for your your product to meet these pre-market tobacco application requirements they, they're not saying anything so, um, what yeah, I remember they... um, back in 2016 when the whole August 8th stuff mm -hmm. happened and the PMTAs came out and uh, there were companies that were putting in PMTAs and the FDA was turning them down because they didn't know how to take the PMTAs. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So they yep. need to get their shit together, plain and simple. That's they really that's do. The bottom line. And, and they can't enforce, they can't force these companies they can't expect these companies to uh to be Play able long. to fill this paperwork out if they don't have a clue what they're even supposed to be doing you know right exactly it's um, ridiculous i i entirely agree it's without clearly defining the rules of a game no one can play right and and the money like the money amounts that they want uh with these files are, are, are insane some of them are very high could put a very could put a small Over business 350,000 a piece yeah and, and that is cr that's uh, that's unrealistic it's ludicrous, it's ludicrous. Yeah. It's, there's no way no way some of these companies a lot of these companies that may manufacture juices is as we know right now the fda is coming down solely on liquid and mm -hmm. that's not to say that they're ignoring the uh you know the the devices part of it all but that'll come later i'm sure yeah. uh, but right now their main focus is on e-liquid which is the only way for vapors to get their nicotine um and I have absolutely no idea where I was going with that thought pattern. Um, they're they're more concerned with the the e liquid, and there's a lot of companies, a lot of companies that aren't going to be able to afford the PMTAs. Uh, that's where I was going. There we go, back on track. Uh, there's a lot of companies aren't going to be able to afford that PMTA, not just for you know say one flavor they might be able to afford a PMTA <clears throat> for each of the next strength in one of their flavor lines. Yeah. But they're not going to be able to cover their entire range. <clears throat> no. And I so mean, you're going to see a lot of them go really nose down fast. Look at, look at AZ Swag Sauce, just for example. Uh, do you know, have you ever heard of them? 
let me tell you, they have over probably over 1500 flavors oh, wow. on their website that you can pick from that you can go through, read each individual one and pick from. There is no way they, and they sell at a really reasonable price always have. And there is no way they will be able to afford that. You know, that's that they would put, they no way no way they would they'd put them right out of business to try to do that you know yep so and that's what we're going to see a, a lot of uh companies facing as well same issue no rivera prohibition never worked that's right yeah that's right man yep. um and the, these taxes they're they're pushing they're imposing these taxes that are like deal breaker taxes for a, a lot of states and and the vape shops in those states you know that they they can't afford the the people aren't going to buy stuff for triple du double triple what they've been paying for it no. and that's and it's crazy and they're passing these laws like that and it's yep. it it's they say it's to um to to avoid try to avoid teens paying for it but let me tell you something teens don't really have uh, a good understanding of what the value of money is no nope. so that you know they're most of them either are working a really really part-time job or they're you know uh not working they're going to school so they're getting money from their parents or you know the like so right they're they're, they're not working for that money really so they're not you know they're not they're gonna be more apt to try to pay for that anyways you know and i know here in vermont juice is doubled in, yeah. in price well, you could get a hundred mil for, uh, you could get it for like 30 bucks at a local shop. Now you're looking at 60 plus. So yeah. for a hundred mils and That's I can go through a hundred mils in a week. I can go through more than that if I now really what want. Did, what did that double the, did that double the cost? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. It doubled the cost. Um, for, for most things anyways. Yeah. Because hundred mils in New Hampshire would still be around, you know, twenty eight, thirty bucks for us. Yeah, yeah. I can go to uh, I can go to West Lab and get a hundred mil uh, Jam Monster for twenty five bucks right now. There you so, go. Where it would fuck. cost you like forty five, fifty bucks in Vermont. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <clears throat> it's worth the gas money, that's for sure. <laughs> Noah, that. Very good question. However, I would rather see them do neither, to be honest with you. Uh, if if it came to that, yes, I would rather see the youth vaping rather than smoking. You're absolutely yeah. right. But to be fair, I would rather them see, see them do nothing. Yeah. Uh, I, I would rather them do neither of them. Uh, if they've never smoked, there's no reason for them to start vaping. If see, my, my stepson... He's 16. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be 17 this year. And he started smoking, or at least like we figured out that he was smoking about a year ago. And for the first three or four months, I pushed heavy. I'm like, no, no, it's not happening. You ain't smoking. Get, you're done. I've smelled cigarettes on you. You're grounded, you know? And over and over and over he'd come back smelling like cigarettes we'd find cigarette butts in his room and i pushed for quite a while I, I i pushed for quite a while i said i'd rather have you vape you know i i don't agree with teens vaping i don't want you bringing it to school i don't want you you know but i'd rather have you vape and he i don't know he just would rather smoke and i tell you i'd rather him vape any day of the week it kills me to smell cigarettes on him and you know i know what I, it took me so long to quit and so many years of not doing it successfully. And mm -hmm. I tell you, any day of the week, I'd rather see him vape. Me too. You know, I, I really would. I would rather see the, the, I would rather see people of any age rather than smoking cigarettes, vaping. But ideally I would neither, you know, right. ideally, <laughs> Ide but. ideally in a perfect world, you know, yeah. we would love to see, you know, the youth do neither of those things. Right. But your son is six, your stepson's 16. You know, he's at that age where. He's going to be an adult. I, soon. I know, I know more than you do. 
you know, I oh, yeah. I live my body. This is my life. You know what? I'm going to make my decisions. And you know yeah. what? Sometimes we got to let them do that, but it sucks. Because I've got a, yes. a daughter that's going to be 13 in three days. And I can't even think of what I would do if I found out she was smoking cigarettes, you know? Uh, especially considering that she's the one that came to me and told me that she didn't want me smoking anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I could only imagine what it would feel like, you know, to have a, a child that started smoking. But you're absolutely right. I would rather to see them to vape than smoke cigarettes. Um, but again, ideally neither. Yeah. David Moyle, what's going on, man? Alan Jacobson, how are you? I look back and uh, I I smoked my first cigarette when I was 12 years old. Um, didn't really care for it, but when I was 13, I started smoking all the time. You know, uh, my aunts, uncles, everyone except for my mother, and did it. You know, and so it was pretty easy for me to get a hold of cigarettes. I just go down to my aunt's house, grab three four out of the pack and me and my cousin go out and smoke cigarettes you know so that's when i started really getting into it when i was by the time i was 15 i was smoking a pack a day you know and it's so I, so i look back and i'm like you know this is how it was with me and if vaping was around then i don't know maybe i would have done it you know yeah and i kids are gonna do what they're gonna do one way or the other you know what yeah. i mean like I know I used to sneak in the, off into the woods, sneak out in the middle of the night, do whatever it took to do what I wanted to do, you know? Yep. So, and, and so it's like, they're going to do it and you got to try to try to get them not to, you know, but at least try to minimize what you can. And That's what's I happening. don't, I don't, I don't think kids should be bringing stuff like that to school. I don't, you know, and that was a big thing with me. I, I was like, no, we're searching the bag before he leaves and pockets and it's not going, you know? Yeah that's what we we've had to do that with our daughter but not for cigarettes and stuff like that it was more for uh sneaking things to school that she doesn't belong having at school yeah you know leave, leave your toys home honey i brought this dvd in for show and tell it's dad's slipknot dvd my son did that he brought my uh, iowa slipknot uh. dvd in. So they were really gory back then oh yeah they were <laughs> Oh man, I love Slipknot. Had you hear their new album yet? Dude, I have heard like four songs on their new album and it dude. sounds fucking rad. So dude. good. So I cannot good. wait to get my hands on that album. Was the uh Chaotic or something like that? There was an Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. The best oh. one God I can't remember the name of it either. Um they just came out with a video for it. Um, and it was a really good song. Really great song. And the video was really good, too. Um, oh. We Are Not Your Kind? Yeah, We Are Not Your Kind. Yeah. We Are Not Your Kind. Hell yeah. That was a really, really good song. Oh, um, All Out Life. Yeah. All Out Life. And uh, what was the other one? Was it All Out Life? Was that the one off that new album? Um, let's see. What are the four? I listened to four songs out of that. I can't remember the names of the songs. We Are Not Your Kind. Boom, there's the album. Two days ago. Two days ago. Nero Forte was a good one. Yep. Critical Darling a is a good one. Unsainted. Yeah unsainted is the one i'm talking about yeah really good really really good oh man slip not so good that's that's like a trip back in time i can't even believe they're still doing stuff because i used to listen to them when i was like 16 17 18 years old something like that they've been around a while now uh, quite a while now Unicron's hole. What's going on, dude? Well, who's this what guy? Up? Hell yeah, VT vape guy. You already know what it is. I have to look into the t uh, the new Tool album too. I haven't heard it yet. 
I so, haven't either. I heard it was really good though. I, I I heard that they did release it. I did know that it was released, but I haven't heard anything from it just yet. But that's what I had to talk about. I mean, basically, the Vapor Technology Association want, and I applaud them for this because, yeah, as a company facing these PMTAs and the deadline that's coming up in 2020, um, there need to be some clear cut rules. There need there needs to be in writing what is expected of us what's expected of our product in order to pass these PMTAs to, in order to gain approval so that we can, what, what are the guidelines going to be? How can we yeah. make a product that is going to be able to be approved for the market if you won't tell us what the rules are? Yeah. You know, it's it definitely, it, it's very, very um, anti-progressive. Yeah. I guess is the word I want to I want to use. And I'm glad that they're going through with the lawsuit too, you know, cuz they, mm -hmm. they they talked about it a little while ago and uh, you know, it was kind of up in the air for a little while and uh I do applaud them for for going through with it because you know, there there's been other other companies who've done it and you know, or at least tried to do it and you know, for one reason or another it didn't work out, but uh they have to know that you know, companies can't, they, that, that will put companies out of business, plain and simple. And mm -hmm. that's un-American. That's all there is to it. You know? Okay. So what they're looking for is the application needs to show that it, the product will um, meet all of the requirements set forth by the FDA of a product that would be approved for the market but the problem is that they haven't told us what those requirements are you know what what tests need to be done and that's the problem is without that there's nothing any company can do and like you said you know that's just going to end badly for everybody yeah well i mean minus the fda they'll have successfully achieved the goal that they've been striving for this entire time but yeah. i mean since 2016 fda has provided five different pmta submission deadlines august 8th 2018 november 8th 2018 august 8th 2022 august 8th 2021 and now may 12th 2020 and, yep. You know what, guys? You're stalling. You're stalling. They are. And they are. And they have been for a long time. I mean, the before the 2018, they announced the 2018 and 2016. And they said, well, we're announcing it for 2018 because we don't know how. We don't know what we're doing. They, they came right out and said that. Mm -hmm. And here we are, 2019, three years later, and they still don't have a clue what they're doing, you know? They need they need to take both hands, reach behind their back, and pull their heads out of their asses. Plain and simple. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Jeez. Uh, any word on what devices the THC kids are going to the hospital because of? Fake THC cardo tanks. Them teens were vaping THC oils. Yeah. Oh, so they got bunk cardomizers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they got they got bunk cartos, well, um, and that that's an entirely different kind of yep. thing. But you know what? I know it's here nice. in Vermont they reported on this, but what they reported on was vape devices. Kids are going to the hospital for vape devices. They never they didn't say anything about THC. They didn't you know, and they are com they are completely different. They're a total different animal. Oh yeah. And it's going to be something that's going to end up, you know, going to be an issue as well. They're going to they're going to have to figure that out. You Absolutely. know, without more and more states are legalizing, and more and more of this type of stuff is going to come around. You know. Yep. Yep. The more easily accessible they make these things, the more of a problem we're going to have. Yeah. That's. It, 
Mm. I don't want that to come out sounding like an absolute dickhead statement to make, but it really yeah. was. Prohibition doesn't work. We know that. Yeah. But in the same sense, by normalizing certain products and devices, you open that doorway. Yeah. And it's going to happen. And there's really nothing you can do to stop it once that door's been opened. And yep. we're already through that door with vaping. We, yep. We've already walked through that door a hundred thousand yep. times. And this is what happens. You know, once something becomes introduced to everyday life, it becomes normalized. And yep people don't think anything of it until someone else comes up with an issue so yep. but uh, I just wanted to real quick before we close out um, back to that article Tony Abood the ex uh, Ab Abood yeah Tony Abood the executive director of the Vapor Technology Association quoted in this article the FDA's constantly shifting regulatory process is wholly unreasonable unfair and unlawful the agency has failed to provide a advanced notice or an opportunity for public comment as required by the Administrative Procedure Act, grossly accelerating the deadlines and then repeatedly changing the already onerous requirements is unacceptable under any regulatory regime, but this is especially true for vapor products when FDA itself warns that, quote, end quote, it is likely that there will be a mass market exit of ENDS products, ENDS, uh, electronic nicotine delivery systems ends products that could adversely affect the public health there is a whole wealth of truth into that statement that I don't even want to get into no. basically end of the day that statement simply says there's a very high possibility that before this predicate date you're going to see a lot of companies pull out of the industry yeah and it just back out immediately. Yeah, historically, it's happened twice. You, you know, know, it's gonna happen. I can already yeah. see it myself. Yeah, when uh, when when the first August eighth came, there was uh, I can count like at least ten companies that pulled out then because they said we're not gonna we know we're not gonna be able to do this. They're gonna implement it and we're gonna get screwed. So they they sold off what they had and they they shut down. You know, mm -hmm. and it's really too bad. I, at the time, it was being reported on on YouTube a lot. And, you know, that's around the time I started doing YouTube was when the whole first initial wave of it came. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a scary fucking time. I'll tell you that. Companies were pulling out. And they, I know I was stocking up like it was going to be Armageddon, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, don't give up on that dream just yet because I think it might be the way that, that things need to go. People are going to yeah. start needing to uh, really, Stockpile. really start stockpiling up because I don't I'm know still, what's going to happen. I'm still going through, this is three years ago, and I'm still going through my stockpile of nicotine and flavors from them. Mm. I, I bought a lot of both. I froze, I've got nicotine in the deep freezer, so there you when go. I need it, I pull it out, thaw it out put it back in there you go that's what's up yeah well we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here uh phil is there anything coming out on your channel anything you'd like to say in uh before we part our ways yeah uh this weekend i got the review for the g taste aries coming out um i'm not gonna spoil it too much but it is a little wet um triple coil wet but, like a uh, hooker's knickers yeah. What's that? Wet like a hooker's knickers? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> um, Sunday morning breakfast with the vape. You can catch me there. Cloud Connection Sundays at 1 p.m. Cloud Connection podcast. Um, yeah, there it is. Facebook groups. Uh, you I did got the say vape that. You were out on Saturday, weren't you? You went live uh, last week on Saturday. Yeah, because we left Saturday afternoon to go to Rhode Island, and I said, you know what? I don't want to cancel the show. I started I, watching... I it's really weird. I, I was, yeah, I, I don't want to get off on a tangent, but I thought it was going to be weird eating breakfast on camera, but it's really not. I, <laughs> I um, but yeah, there yeah. you go. And sub to lethal. Boom. 
Hold on, let me get you a link there, Mr. Unicron's Hole. VT Vape Guy. Who's Thank that you guy? For, for having me on again, dude. I, I, I have a blast. Bro, it is a pleasure having you on. Oh, yeah. And I have... Uh, I had to pause there for a second because I just got a very quick, um, quick question that just popped into my head. Why is your channel Overclocking 101? <laughs> <laughs> because when I started my channel, I actually didn't even vape. I, I overclock competitively. Um, and so when I first started, I actually still have some dry ice overclocking videos and stuff from way back in the day. No way. Yeah, and you uh, are what I wanted to be, dude. It, <laughs> it, 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 and yeah, it was it was fun. You know, I, I do miss doing it sometimes, um, but I just can't afford it. It's so expensive. You go through hardware like crazy. Do you, and, what do you overclock? Just CPUs or everything? I did everything. I did the GPUs, the CPUs. <sighs> yeah, I, I know who to call yeah, now. I've got a, I, I've got a setup right now that I could do it with, but I just. I don't want to risk it. It's my work setup. <laughs> I know who to call now when I need to uh, overclock my RAM. Dude, it's so... Let me tell you, RAM is a lot harder now to tweak than it used to be. Back in the DDR2 days, you could really, really tweak your RAM and DDR3. You could really tweak your RAM settings and really get more performance out of it. Nowadays, most RAM, not all of it, most RAM comes pretty well at its max these days. Really? you can get on certain ones they sell like a, a budget version of a more expensive version and you can get that budget version to go the speed of the more expensive version um because they're the same chip you know they're the same chip same ram just look different you know so you can sometimes do that but nowadays if you if you've got like a, a fast set of ram it's probably maxed out already i've got generic ddr4 so you might you might be able to get some out of it. I think I'm gonna look into upgrading that anyways. Hell yeah. If I tweak and ram the wife screams. <laughs> I remember when you had to uh had to modify your graphics cards to overclock them. You had oh. to solder on a potentiometer. Oh my goodness. And adjust it manually. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. when I was into it. Jeez, you were really deep into it. Hell yeah, dude. That's dope, man. Well, that was just a quick question that just popped into my head. Uh, yeah, as for me, I got a world record video, a world record overclock on the channel in in some in my earlier videos. No shit. Out. Yep. Dude, uh, that's I think it was an E8500 e Intel Core 2 Duo at the time. It's not anymore. It's been beaten now, but 5 gigahertz. Wow. Yeah, at the time there was no five gigahertz anything. <laughs> <laughs> now it's common. Now everything's five gigahertz. Right. So back then it wasn't. Oh wow. Yeah. Um. So yeah, what do I got coming up, guys? Tomorrow you can catch me on the Own Service Live. Uh, with Mark Solom reviews and my buddy oh, yeah. Steve Hodson, and I think Little Bro should be there. Hopefully. Crossing our fingers, he should be there. Um, videos, not sure. Gonna be doing my Twitch streaming in the mornings, uh, like yeah. I do. That um, was fun. Yeah, I love my games, man. I love my games. And it's been a weird time for me, uh, uh, in life the past few months. So, um, my reviews have all but stopped, uh, for now. They'll come back. I'm, I know they will. I but, hear that, uh, brother. <laughs> you know, it's oh, it's a weird time right now. Yeah. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us for Lethal's Vapor Lounge Live. Uh, oh, yeah. It's been a, a great pleasure spending some time with you guys, some good chat and topics, and talking with you guys. Uh, thank you to Jay Money, Unicrons, and everybody else in chat. Without you guys, I wouldn't have a show uh, to do it all. So, keep on showing the love, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Definitely head on over to VT Vape Guy's channel. Give him a sub. Throw him a like. Uh, hit the notification bell so you guys know when he goes live and when he puts out some new videos. Um, that's about what I got, guys. Thanks oh, for the yeah. shoe. Did you throw him a shoe? 
Check out the 7K giveaway video, by the way. That's active right now. 7K giveaway, guys. You heard it. You heard it. Go check that out. Uh, yeah, we're the masters of the universe. That's that's coming up very, very soon here, Jay Money. Thank you guys so much for all of your encouragement and your support and your love that you guys give to me every single day. You guys are all legends and superstars. I love you all. Please do remember that we're the only ones in this world that can... Yeah. Let me reverse... All right, let's try that one more time. Guys, remember, we're the masters of our own destinies. We're the only ones in this world that can pick and choose how positive or negative our days are ever going to be. So please remember to keep the positivity high, keep the smile on your face, and let that negative just brush off your shoulders. Love you all. Thank you guys so much again for joining us. It's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you on the next one. Let me find my exit button. There's my exit button. Laters!